Previously on the BBI build, way back in a land long ago, the BBI brake system was stripped apart, then sent off for cleaning and special refinishing. Well, not all of that went to plan and more than two years later, we're still trying to recover from all of those mistakes. But today, it's time to fix that and finally transform that brake system back to perfection. Next job on the BBI is all down here, the brake system. And well, from the start, that has been very problematic. And that doesn't stop today. So today we're going to be rebuilding the full BBI brake system right here inside where it's nice and clean and we can keep tabs on everything. Now this part of the build has been the most problematic by far, hands down. Part of it is down to me, which you're going to find out about a little bit later on. However, when we originally sent all of this off, um, the guy was meant to strip it all back and then do all this lovely shiny replating. Over a year later, of me chasing him, he finally admitted he couldn't do it. So he sent the stuff all back, except he didn't send it all back. He was missing one of these brake blocks. So kindly, the guys over at uh, Tampa Bay Vapor Blasting have uh, cut me a new one. You saw that in a previous video. That was an absolute nightmare, but they've done a fantastic job. And uh, well, he also lost a few other things, including one of these we've still re got to rectify that now ferrari don't make any of these bits uh individually they do actually sell full brake calipers but they are not the original ate ones that you see here and we are trying to retain all the originality on this bbi so well i've gone to extreme lengths to try and uh get to what we have right here. Let's go through it. So what you see here is a mixture of my original stuff with some new bits. We've got new brake lines, rebuild kits over there. We've got correct ATE brake pads, some nuts and bolts, bleed nipples, pins. And well, the problem we really had that's taken some time is finding somebody who can do the correct finish on the calipers. Now, Ferrari used this kind of gold it's a yellow zinc finish on their calipers, many of their calipers in the 80s. And it's really difficult. There are few and far people now who are able to do this finish. So Andrew over at Jackson's Plating in Hounslow, he's done a fantastic job, real quick turnaround on this one. I'm going to put his details uh, below for anyone who needs this. There are not just Ferrari, other uh, manufacturers use this process in the 80s. And well, it's a dying art. Anyway, Andrew's done the job on that. Uh, we are going to start rebuilding this. There are a few things I'm going to need your help with. Now, first thing I'm going to do is take all the individual brake halves like this, get my airline and blow out all of the little crevices, all of the brake lines there, just to make sure that during the plating process or during the uh, stripping process, we've got no debris in here. Something that I really love to do is promote brands and products that resonate with you, my audience, that have a connection. However, today's video sponsor is someone that I personally wish that I'd known about years ago. You see, it took me a very long time to figure out what I really enjoy and what makes me happy, and it's working on cars like this. Yeah, I was working in a completely different industry, which, if I'm honest, I was not enjoying one little bit. For me, it took a complete change of direction to really appreciate what I'm doing, and each morning to look forward to my day at work. And that's where ASI Recruitment come in. They're UK-based automotive specialists since 2015 and have an extensive network of contacts in all aspects of automotive sectors, from restoration, dealerships, ARCs, commercial vehicle sales, customer service, or admin. When you register with ASI Recruitment, not only will they match you with jobs that they currently have, they will also actively pick up the phone and contact clients within their network who are the kind of company that you've said you would like to work for and that you're the kind of candidate that they would like to have working within their business. Which can all lead to a wider range of opportunities to improve your income, your work-life balance, job satisfaction, or career prospects. So whether you're actively seeking a new job opportunity, have a dream job in mind, or would just like to see what types of jobs and salaries are currently available, then you need to get in touch with ASI Recruitment today. I'm gonna to put a link in the description below the video with their contact details. Don't be like me and waste years of your life doing a job that makes you unhappy. Make that change today and do something that you really enjoy in life. Speak to the guys at ASI Recruitment who can really help you out. All of our brake pistons have been cleaned and polished. That's the uh, bigger ones for the front, smaller ones for the rear. All the original stuff that came out of the calipers. Now the plan here is I've got an egg cup of brake fluid and uh, I'm going to just 
put a smidgen around, got the gloves on, I'm gonna put a smidgen around just to install all the seals. Uh, we don't wanna contaminate this system with anything else, so we're just using the brake fluid that's gonna go into the system. So what I do is I get the ring in there and then I just go around with my finger just making sure it's all straight, it's not kinked and it's just seated correctly. It's a bit of an art form this. It is not easy at all doing this. Gonna take as usual with most of these car jobs a lot longer than I thought. I thought this would be a two minute job. Next job with all our seals in place we are going to put the pistons in so what I'm doing Yes, I should be wearing gloves, but uh, I've got clean hands and I've just put in a bit of brake fluid all around here and I'll be washing my fingers straight after. A little bit more on there. Push it in there. <sighs> So I'm a few hours in already and uh, this is not an easy job. When you think these things are going to be five minutes in your head, they take blooming hours. Anyway, some of them are going in okay. Some of them really don't want to play ball. Look at that. I'm getting a big bruise there when I'm just trying to push these pistons in by hand, literally by hand. It's helping having these calipers in half like this, but I'm probably about 50% of them just don't want to go in. So we've got things like this one here where one's going in the other one i just cannot get past the seal so i've got a plan b got my hydraulic press it's not here it's in the lockup otherwise i would just use it from the start just being lazy to be honest with you. we're going to take these down there and see if uh, we can get the final ones into the calipers okay let's try this will this go down far enough Oh, look at that. <laughs> that made it look very, very easy. And there you go, two minutes, whereas I spent hours trying to push those in. So note to self, don't be lazy in future, just use the press from the start. All right, so we've solved that problem with the pistons. Next dilemma is all to do with these, these rubber dust boots. Let me spin the camera and show you what I'm talking about. Now here's what I've got. This is the rear calipers, and we've got the uh, smaller pistons on here with the dust boots, these rubber dust boots. They have got their own like little retaining clip inside, built into those, so you just push them on and they seem to hold in place no problem. Front calipers are completely different though, so obviously we've got these bigger pistons, and we've got these rubber dust caps, and we've got these retaining springs here. So what happens is, if you look, we've got a lip here, and we've got a wall on the outside there, but it's not a full wall. If I use this to show you, there's nothing here. We've got all the way around there, we're okay. And I thought there would be a little retaining channel there or on the inside here, but nothing at all. Just straight kind of edges, straight walls there. So here's our retaining clips. So it's a spring clip like that. And I thought that we place the spring so the edges face together like that, and then they would sit in a channel there. But doesn't seem to work that way and um, when I do that we've got a big overlap in the middle can't fit the two uh, the clips in together so the logic for me says we've got that channel on the inside of the rubber there and we've got the little kind of lip on the outer rim there so that obviously sits over there like this one and then we use our springy one and it should sit on the outside of that like so Okay, holding it in against this wall here. However, the reason that I have got a bit of a dilemma, if we look at these other ones that I've put on for the front calipers, they just don't seem, when I push them all down, this one's pushed right down, to me it just doesn't seem like it's, you know, there's a lot of movement. See that? If I just, 
and obviously these things are going in and out that just doesn't seem right to me so uh, what I've done is I've just put a, uh, a post on finish this off right now so you can put these back on Instagram bit of a shout out there hopefully someone out there uh, can give me some advice on this so I can finish the build in the meantime we're gonna do the rear calipers and um, try and figure this out so rear caliper hopefully should be a little bit easier and not so much hassles we're gonna put these little o-rings in place there then we have got these bits that sit like that so there's no recess on that side so that sandwich is there and we put another o-ring there same on that side nothing there that goes like that that goes like that and then i'm going to carefully place that on there just going to do a little test fit on this we'll put some thread lock on those in a minute good Now I've had some really great suggestions and ideas on the social platforms, but no matter what, everything I've tried, it just doesn't work properly. It just doesn't sit correctly. I'm not happy with it. So I've got a plan B. Ferrari have got a BBI rebuild kit in stock. So I'm gonna take my kit, which was for a Testarossa. So that could be the clue here. Um, now the kit for a Testarossa I thought was exactly the same as the BBI, but we're going to take my kit, we're going to compare it to the one at Ferrari, and let's see if there's any difference. Okay, I think we've solved the problem. We've come to Ferrari and um, looked at their kit. It's very slightly different to what I've got, so I um, also picked up one of these workshop manuals for. I don't know why we'd need that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this home and I'm going to explain what the difference is between the uh, Ferrari kit and um, the kit that I had for, I think it's a Testarossa. Sorry about that guys, the uh, the sound quality at Ferrari, well, I had to just keep my voice down a little bit. Uh, everyone was busy, busy working. Anyway, we are back home and um, I'm gonna show you the difference between these two kits. So first of all, we look at the rubber boots. You see, the Ferrari one, slightly wider, it's got the lip and um, well, this will most likely work no problem, but, well, we've gone down this route mainly, not because of that, but also because of these. This is the original clip. Now, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all the comments say, well, you could just squeeze this, close it up a little bit. Some people were saying it goes on the inside of the rubber. I can tell you guys, it does not go on the inside of the rubber. There's no physical way it would fit under there and on there. Um, so it definitely goes on the outside like that. Now we could close it up, but when I compared that to the one from Ferrari, you can see it's a thicker band. Now, if you also look at this, it's just slightly slimmer and it's just got a little bit more strength of that spring. That I can spring extremely easily. So we could close it up, but I'm going to play it safe. We've done everything else so far um, at great expense, right? Two of these kits, almost £500. Now I thought there was a bonus of doing that, and I'm going to explain that in a second. First of all, let me demonstrate on the caliper the actual difference here. So you can see I've got one fitted here, and I cannot get that off there. Okay, uh, whereas if I fit this on here, just use that, push that down, push that down with my finger, push that there, right, that is a snug fit, okay? Now I can very easily just pop that off. So that is not gonna last long when it's on the car. And that is the main reason I've gone for the kit. Now, the major difference was or well, the major deciding factor was we also got Ferrari to pull out a rear kit like this. This is the front kit. It was exactly the same, had also the pins in it. Now, I don't know if I've said this already, but the pins 
for these calipers and all of the kits uh, I've lost I've lo I lost the spring clips so we had nothing to reference and I lost all the pins I don't know where they are they will be somewhere I've just in the boxes gone through everything can't find them um, but I haven't thrown anything out so eventually they'll turn up but I was gonna replace them anyway but it would have been good to have something to reference them by because these are four new front caliper pins and um, you can get those. You cannot order the rear ones from Ferrari or anywhere. I can't find them. Uh, but the new kits came with the four pins. Exactly the same length. And when we measured up the ones on the rear caliper uh, kits, they also were the same length. So, thought, great. All right, we got our four. We'll use the other four from the front uh, caliper kits for the rear calipers. However, I've now got home. And check this out. They are too long, they don't fit. Look, there's no way that is gonna fit in there. So Ferrari have got wrong pins in their caliper kits um, and it's only Ferrari that have the pins in their kits. Aftermarket ones, no pins. Now, I did message a uh, brake caliper company and I've got some of these, but I don't even need to fit them. You can see, they're too short. So we've got a major dilemma here. I can finish the fronts. I cannot fit the pads in the back because we are gonna need some pins that are uh, slightly shorter than those. So I'm gonna measure those up in a second and uh, I'll let you know and hopefully you guys can help me find some pins. In the meantime, let's crack on with rebuilding the fronts. I've got to change over all of these boots, fit the clips, put them together and then uh, fit these to the car. Okay, so our calipers are all done. Uh, only dilemma is we've got this uh, pin missing. So we're gonna fit those to the car. We'll fit all the pads after and all the pins when we've got all of the discs in place. But as I said, we need uh, one of these. So that one is a front one, which is, uh, what is that? That is, my digital display is not working. So it's about 90, but the actual midsection, is about there. That's 70, which is, whoa, what do we got there? Let's, have, let's just double check that. Yeah, so that's 70. Uh, the rears, the ones that I'm really looking for, the midsection is about 55 mil. Uh, so there, obviously we've got the pin bit there, pin bit there, so 55 mil, full length, is going to be around just over 80 but then i'm saying that little bit there does not go right in there so if anyone's got any solutions uh let me know they, they, this design is used i think that was from a ford so um those pins are used on pretty much everything of that era so there must be something that uses a similar pin to those Ferrari, and these are made by ATE. All right, so we're in the garage. The BBI is up on axle stands. There is an order to all of my stuff here. We're ready to install the brake system. Now I've been in here for over two hours going through all the nuts and bolts and washers, making sure we got the exact correct ones that came off the car to go with these components. Now, if you remember before, we did sort through, Owen sorted through all of these, put them in different boxes, but we're not down to kind of fine component level, which bolts go with uh, which kind of assemblies like this. Now, amazingly, I have managed to a hundred percent get everything right here these uh bolts here are the ones that slide through and bolt on our front brake disc now luckily a couple of those that had uh, gone off to the platers i hadn't removed the bolt or the spring washer so i've matched up all of those 100 percent happy with that got all the bolts here 
that go uh, through the calipers now we've used um, notes and I've used the Ferrari parts system to make sure we've got it all correct here and the only one I have got missing is one of these an 8 mil an M8 by 16 uh, and that is brake cover here that bolts onto that little bit there we've got a bolt that goes through there into there I've got one but I can't find the one for the other side I've got 20 mil ones but not a 16 mil one and it has to be absolutely correct for this car so i uh, i'm sure it will turn up but i put another one on order from ferrari which was an amazing just nine pence for one of those <laughs> which is unlike ferrari so we, we've ordered one up that'll be for the other side so i'm going to put all of this on and uh, last thing we need to do is just put a bolt in there on the uh, left hand side of the car so let's start installing everything and we'll start with the front here now it all has to go on in the correct order so we've got all the bolts coming through here bolting on the uh, front brake disc but when we put on the uh, brake caliper we've got two little holes here in this cover and um, well the caliper bolts have to go through those and then into this bit here as well so it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle this one all right so we're going to start by installing the brake discs here now uh, we've got 16 bolts that come through the hub here and then we've got a spring washer and a little uh, little nut there that sit on this other side so I'm going to use one as a kind of homing thing this is going to be quite difficult because I've got to get in hold this bolt and tighten it up from this side so let's see if we can just get an alignment there makes it sit right on there cool All right, so it's all back on in place. Bit of a nightmare. Luckily, I do everything up finger tight on the first go around. As I said earlier, this is a jigsaw puzzle. So we got all the bolts in. I then went to fit the rear cover. Couldn't get that bolt in there. So uh, it all had to come back off and it's gone back on again. So a couple more things, but look at that. That is now, and that is how it looked before. Whew, happy with that. Right, we've got the caliper to go on and that is it for the front. All right, so the brake caliper it's just kind of sat in situ. Like I say, I haven't bolted anything up. Not bolting that on right now. Couple of reasons. Number one, I've got these uh, spacers that need to go in between the caliper and hub, which is a bit of a nightmare. And this is gonna have to come on and off a few times. We've got to fit all the pads, the pins, but mainly behind it, we've got all of the brake lines that I need to redo. So there's no point me struggling, putting that in place when it's gonna to have to come on off in like a day or two. Um, now, one question for you guys. First of all, you've got to admit that looks freaking good. Brakes, suspension are not meant to look that good on a car. However, how do I protect that? This has obviously come from the factory like it, but it didn't look like that when we took it all apart. And I'm sure most BBIs, unless they've been refurbished like this, don't look like this anymore. So is there any way of putting a clear coat on this, on the arms here? Um, because we want to drive this car, but we don't want it to, um, we don't have to do this again in five years time. Anyway, so let me know in the comments below. If you know, if we can clear coat this, will it have some kind of reaction or, um, Will it protect it for a long time? We're on to the rear of the car now, and it's the same again. Caliper and disc need to go on, but before we can do that, we've got one other component at the back here, which is our handbrake system. And that all sits here on the rear hub. And the way it works is like this. So on our rear hub here, we have two of these. One either side, it's the handbrake pads. Now the way it works is you pull the handbrake lever. This is the handbrake cable up here, which we have yet to install, and it forces these in and out now these both sit on the inside of the rear disc as you can see here and as you pull the handbrake lever pushes those out forces them against the inside of the disc and that is what gives you your handbrake now we've got a couple of issues here first of all this is going to be very very tricky because the handbrake cable feeds through a hole under here then you have to hook in this 
and that's all part of the handbrake mechanism that all sits around here now the bit I've got missing is the uh, we've got a pin that comes through here with a spring and there should be a washer on the end so we've got one of those missing but the major reason I am not going to even do one side at the moment is because if you remember in a previous video we have got center lock wheels on this one and if you have a look on here the actual thing we've got an arrow and that is the uh, direction of where you would actually undo it now if you can see that we're actually doing it up at the moment so it should be going the opposite way what i need to do is switch over these hubs before i install the cable going through it and making my uh, life an absolute nightmare now we've got all of the other components i've checked we've got all of our bolts that bolt the uh, disc onto the hub so i've just got to get one tiny little washer and then we'll get on with this job so i'm going to head off the ferrari and pick up those two tiny little components that we're missing for this which have a combined total of less than a pound uh, we'll get the other three corners done on this car and i've got some really really cool exciting updates happening on some of the other things i got you guys to help me with in a previous video that's all coming in, in the next bbi update until then guys stay safe check out what i get up to on a daily basis over on my socials and i will see you all very shortly Ciao for now.